You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to Greater Brockton viewers. I have my friend John Drzinskis. Hey, John, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on again. Oh, not a problem. You're involved in a lot of different community groups. This one is the VFW Auxiliary. Auxiliary, correct? Yes. Yep. And <clears throat> I remember back probably last year. I had you on, and we talked about the penny sale and raffle. Gee, yes. penny sale. Penny okay, sale. those are the things you have in your pocket, right? When right, you... right. Well, well, when uh, when people think of penny sale, they usually think of um, flea market and very cheap, inexpensive stuff. Uh, not so with 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 our uh, with our event this year. We have a lot of um, new stuff. People uh, p people uh, that have received gifts that they may not be able to use or uh, they don't want. Um, very generous people have donated a lot of very expensive stuff. They're all in the box, they're all in the, a lot of them in the wrapping in the, in the <clears> that original, they came in. In the original containers, yes. So yep. I yep. went there last year, year before, I think I got a whole bunch of different things and one of them you held on to me for about, I think six months. Yes, I did. Because I never, uh, yes, I did. We, we saw each other all the time, but we never just ex ex exchanged. It stayed uh, in the back of my vehicle for a few months. Yeah, yes, yes, but my yep. grandson was happy because it had a soccer ball. And That's I, great. I sort of recall. That's great. So uh, the penny sale and raffle is March 31st, which yes. is a Sunday. It is. It's yes. from one to four over at VFW Post Ten Forty Six. Right, at, uh, and that's located at two eighty three uh, North Quincy Street here in Brockton. Um, it's um, easy to miss if you're not exactly sure where it is. It's a little bit set back from the road in the in the woods, and there's quite a long access road to the uh, to the post. But um, you have to look for a white sign, right. and it, it'll will will direct you in. Yeah. And usually you see sign, I know they uh, do a Boy Scout troop, and sometimes you see stuff yes. up for the Boy Scouts. Right. A lot of the political events happen there, the Sullivan Breakfast in the fall, and, yep. and people's fundraisers are starting to get to be an election year again. Yes, so it is. So that yes, is one is. of the few function facilities left in the City of Champions. Yeah, unfortunately it is, and uh, it's a very nice hall. They actually have wedding receptions there. Yep, So, which um, is where I had mine. Yes. Back yes, in the day, it'll yeah. be nine years ago. Yeah. So you're going to have, I, I went and it was fun because it was all sorts of, there's raffles, there's right. door prizes, um, there is a bar there. Yes, so yeah, you there'll, can, there'll be a cash bar available and there's also food. Uh, mm -hmm. The veterans themselves will be serving food. They do their own cooking, uh, they'll have things like hot dogs, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, pizza, light food like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And all of this goes to benefit the auxiliary programs that support the veterans. Support so tell us veterans. about that a little bit. So um, I, I'm, I'm really proud to be a member of the auxiliary. A few years ago, the um, national organization, the National VFW Auxiliary, changed their charter to accept male members. It was always the ladies' auxiliary. Mm -hmm. And once I found that out, I, I joined immediately um, because my father was a... Even though I never had the honor and privilege of serving myself and fighting overseas for our country, uh, my father did. He is a World War II veteran, as I believe your dad was. Yes. And um, so um, being, being his son um, and an immediate family member, I was eligible to, to join the auxiliary. And they, as you mentioned, they do a lot of uh, supplemental programs to, uh, to support the veterans and to support uh, the families of veterans that need help also. So. Now, they meet, it's a certain Sunday, I'm mean Wednesday. It's a Wednesday, second Wednesday, the I second think? Wednesday. We actually had our uh, general meeting last night. Mm -hmm. okay? It's always the second Wednesday of the month at um, 6 o'clock at the Post. And I know in between, you guys are helping veterans. So yes. we have a Veterans Administration Hospital here in Brockton. Yep. I know clothing is gathered for veterans and different supplies that are needed. And sure. they're... Just because they're in a facility doesn't mean they don't have other basic human needs. Oh, absolutely! And um, you guys are there for them. Right, right. A couple of the uh, a couple of the events we do uh, on a regular basis. Uh, monthly, we have a a dinner that's usually sponsored by one of the local supermarkets. Stop and Shop is one of them, or one of the um, local restaurants, jo Johnny Macaroni's, for example. Uh, we have a dinner at the Post for the veterans that are. Fairly mobile, okay. Some of them um, are with canes and walkers. Others, um, you know, uh, they're, they're, they're walking on their own. But they, uh, there's a good group that comes over from the VA hospital in Brockton, about 25 to 35 mm -hmm. veterans. And they come over and they have, a, they have a good time. We actually play bingo at the end 
Okay, so. I mean, I was yeah. at this event in the drawer and raffle tickets yep. the whole time. Right. Okay. Right. And there's an opportunity to do that. We don't want to talk about the raffle part too much because right. cable TV, you're not supposed to do that. There's right. some obscure FCC law. Well, well, We're basically getting you there for the penny let's, sale. Let's put it this way. Prizes will be available. Okay? Right. Exactly. We'll I, think leave, that, I think that'll cover it. We'll, okay. we'll leave it at that. So, right. John, what satisfaction do you get? I know you talked about your dad. Okay. Okay. What satisfaction do you get? You serve those dinners because I'm always talking to you about, you know, when you're trying to do schedule you you're as busy as I am and you say I'm there serving I'm there right now is that the, that, the plus side that's that's the plus side uh, giving back is is something I'd like to do um, to the veterans because as you know um, you know you and I may not even be having this conversation or uh, if it wasn't for especially the World War II veterans yeah. and we may be having this conversation if it's even allowed in German so right think about that right know, exactly so. So, um, you know, these guys and, and, and women, um, uh, the, these, these brave people uh, fought for our freedoms and some uh, made the ultimate sacrifice. So I have nothing but the ultimate respect for them. My dad was a lifetime member of this particular post, uh, VFW Post 1046 in Brockton, and also a past commander of the DAV, which is the Disabled American Veterans. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I have a little bit of history with them, even though, as I said, I never served. Okay, this is sort of my way of giving back. So in order to be eligible to be a member of the VFW Auxiliary, right. you have to be, you have to have someone in your family that, right. that, that was, that served. Uh, let, let, me, let, me, let me see if I remember this correctly. Uh, son, daughter, father, mother, husband, wife, um, and... Bro brother, sister, uh, Brother, sister, thank you. Okay. Thank you, brother, sister, okay. It can't be a... Uh, more distant relative than that, like a cousin or an uncle. Okay, okay. it has to be immediate family. Wow. Uh, but as long as um, you know, um, you know, somebody served in the family, uh, you would be eligible. For example, yep. I just got to figure out that Wednesday night and figure out which <laughs> which know, night my board you, meets. Like, I know, I know you're busy. Okay, you're but busy. Um, VFW Post 1046 Auxiliary right. Brockton. Right. 283 Quincy Street. It's a penny sale. I'm just going to call it a penny sale. <laughs> March thirty first, two thousand nineteen, one to four. Yes. Over and it's a Sunday afternoon. Refreshments, cocktails available, and there's prizes available. And we, you're going to support a good cause. Yeah, we may be opening the doors a few minutes early because some of these people that that come to these things like to view the treasures early. Okay. Okay. And see what they they, they might want to spend their money on. So be there or be square. That's right. Thanks, John. Okay. Always a pleasure. You're, you're welcome. Thank you for having me on, Mark. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.